Hey guys, how's it going? I gotta continue those readings for each sign. I haven't done Leo yet, so I was gonna do Leo. Please protect this reading. Oh, <laughs> These cards are getting a uh, hard to shuffle. Six of Pentacles. That's a uh, balance. Um, this card says char charity, generosity, windfall. So you could experience a an abundance of generosity in some way, or or um, a windfall of abundance in some area. You know. All right, four of air, which is four of swords. Meditating, going within. Contemplating of something. Um, We got a queen of swords here and hermit mode, going within again, connecting with your higher self. And then we got um, four of earth. Which, this card has a frugal looking lady on it, like, but, you know, sometimes we get that way when we're protecting ourselves or our manifestations, because we need to be stable, and we work hard every day for the things that we have, and we want to protect those things. Because it costs us our energy and our time to get those things back if we lose them. And what's most important and most valuable, uh, most of all, is your time and energy. If you waste somebody's time and energy, that that's the most valuable thing to them. Fuck you. That's what the universe thinks. <clears throat> That's wise counsel. <laughs> Don't waste people's time. That's what a queen of swords would say. We'll cut people off. They're wasting their time. Alright, we got page of air. Being analytical, truthful, and outspoken. Yes, a queen of swords would be that. And on this Queen of Swords card, it says, Brilliant, experienced, and humorous. Alright, this is a Leo reading. So. I think this Queen of Swords, um, take this as it resonates with you, is um, being truthful about a situation um, this truth may bring balance to something. Um, it has somebody going within right now. We got a Queen of Pentacles. Gracious, practical, and capable. The Queen of Pentacles is financially stable. And, um, like a businesswoman, a boss. 
plane of Earth. Where is Earth? Michael, Raphael. Wait, there's a round book. <coughs> And then we got a king of fire. Um, king of fire is like charismatic and, you know, speaks passionately about things that they feel passionate about speaking about, you know? This card says inspirational, charismatic, innovative. Hmm. And then we got release. Transformation. Hmm, we got some romantic -y feelings. Hmm. And we got some truth about these romantic feelings, maybe. This is interesting. Okay, somebody's going within. Um, after somebody spoke some truth, maybe this Queen of Pink Queen of Pentacles. After this Queen of Swords spoke some truth, and there's ending to something. Adjustments are being made in some way for this King of Wands, King of Fire. Mm -hmm. Then we got Page of Water, which is like a lighthearted message of some kind. Could be from the Divine, could be actually receiving like a message, like text message or something. And then we got Ace of Fire, Passionate Beginning, Feeling Creative, Ready to Take Action, you know, like, feel fired up, ready to go. <laughs> and we got Nine of Water, Wishes, Dreams, and Happiness, oh, look at that. Well... Somebody's feeling like going after their dreams and feeling passionate and romantic, maybe even a little. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, let me get some advice from the angels here for this situation. These situations can be a little tough. Alright, angels. What do you want Leo to know about this? Improving health. It's a time for healing. That's why you gotta go within hermit mode right now. But. You're about to be abundant. Just follow your little heart. Okay? <clears throat> go towards abundance don't let low vibrational people hold you back okay this is the balance you've been looking for I feel like alright peace out Leo